Everybody, Darren Slaughter, DarrenSlaughter.com. So, this is a bit of a rant, just so you know, before we, before I really kind of get going here. But if you've spent any time here watching videos, reading posts, you'll know that I've never really been a fan of off-page SEO. Um, for a lot of reasons, and I'm not going to get really into those reasons right now. But I am going to say this. I'm looking at a 2014 cost list of what it costs to hire an SEO consultant slash company or what have you. And I'm saying to myself, you know, aside from all the other reasons why I hate off-page SEO, this one is just, a, this is another reason why I think SEO for contractors is, it's just, it's, it's useless. And why you should be focusing on social media and strong website development. Okay, so I'm going to just run off some prices here and tell me at what level you, the average contractor, could afford these prices. I mean, who are these? Who are these services geared towards? I mean, Fortune 1000 companies, because anybody that could spend, you know, thirty thousand dollars for a project-based SEO campaign. Um, okay. That's great, thirty thousand dollars. Fine. Uh, monthly retainer, seven fifty to five thousand dollars a month to have somebody on retainer or a company on retainer doing SEO. Um, hour to consulting rates, three hundred dollars an hour for SEO. Um, contract services, between five hundred and three thousand dollars for for site for social media site setup. And then, oh, by the way, at the bottom, SEO firms generally can't provide guarantees due to the constantly changing nature of the industry. So let's go with $1,000 a month. And I talk to contractors all the time that are getting quotes between $500 and $1,000 a month for SEO. So that's $6,000 to $12,000 a year. But I can't promise you shit. I can't tell you whether it's going to work or not. That is an awesome, that, what a, talk about a racket. That is literally like you saying, you know what, Mrs. Jones, I'm going to come out and I'm going to build your deck. I don't know if it's going to fall down or not. That's like you coming out and saying, you know what, I'm going to put paint on your wall. But I don't know if it's going to stick or not. Could you imagine, just, re, just transfer or relate SEO into your business. Mrs. Jones, I'm going to build your house, but I don't know if it's going to be standing next year. I don't know. You're going to pay me $200,000 to build it, but I don't know if it's going to be standing. This is why, and this is kind of my, my rant, this is why we concentrate strictly on on-page optimization because that you can control. Let me back up for one second. Even if you're the best, most white hat SEO company out there, and you can be doing all the right things, guess what? Google can change their mind tomorrow and then you're screwed. And then all the work that you've done and that six to twelve thousand dollars you spent last year to do so to do SEO is now lost in the sands of time because Google decided to change things up. So now you gotta start all over again. And you gotta renew that contract for another six thousand to twelve thousand dollars. And that's on the low side, right? Between five hundred and a thousand dollars a month. So that's why we concentrate on fantastic website design because Good websites, regardless of what other marketing you do, is going to be seen by more eyeballs than any other marketing. So have a good website that works and converts. That's why we work on content marketing or blogging. Because the written word or video coming out of a particular contractor is going to help them get found. And it's also going to help them convert readers into buyers because people buy from people they know, like, and trust. And then social media, because social media is becoming the new SEO. And, oh, by the way, you get to control that. You get to control the message that you put out there. Um, not that you don't in SEO, but Google Plus is a, is a big deal in terms of um, potential for um, increased ranking via social media. Um, and, and all the other sites that you have the ability to use not only help you with SEO potentially going forward, but they're more conducive to actually engaging with people. To us, SEO is really kind of just going down a road 
it's just going down a rabbit hole that you're never going to get out of. And you're just going to constantly keep throwing money at it, throwing money at it, throwing money at it, throwing money at it. And you're measuring the wrong goddamn thing. You're measuring where you rank on a page versus how many people you're converting. That's the trick to your website. It's to, tr it's to track what's being converted into an actual prospect or, or customer. Not where I rank on page one or page 257 of Google. No. It's where I rank in terms of converting people into people that actually buy from me. So, to me, it's just another, you know, I mean, this is just another reason why. And I'll link to the article below, but if you want to read it and maybe hire a $30,000 a year SEO company to tell you that we can't guarantee anything and maybe tomorrow the whole industry is going to change, but thanks and make the check out to us. Um, and you guys decide from there. Social media, content marketing solid websites. That's where the action is. That's it. Have a good one. Bye.